In this lesson, you will practice multiplication. Multiplying is a way to find the total. For example, if you have five groups and each group has six objects, you would multiply these two numbers together to find the total. Five times six equals 30. What this means is if you know the number of groups and the number in each group, you can multiply the two numbers together to find the total. Let's solve a problem together. Okay, use the model to write a multiplication sentence. So, to set up the multiplication sentence, I will write two blanks here, separated by my multiplication sign. And then, now let's talk about what information we need to know. So we need to know the number of groups, and we need to know the number in each group to write the multiplication sentence. I'll count the number of groups in blue. There are one, two, three, four, five. Five groups. Our first factor is five. Now I'll go in and count the number of pencils in each group in red. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pencils in each group. So the multiplication sentence is five times seven. If you wanted to find the total, you can either use your multiplication facts for five times seven, or you can go back into the model and count each individual pencil. So I'll count each pencil in blue, and I will just erase my original counters and start over. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, and thirty five. So there are a total of thirty five pencils. You can say this in other words by saying that five groups of seven pencils each is a total of 35 pencils. What if you're given the problem five times some number equals 20? The first thing to do is look at the multiplication sentence and figure out which information you're given and which information you're trying to find. The first number here is a five, which means the number of groups is five. The last number is a 20 which means the total is 20. The information you're still trying to find is how many are in each group. To find how many are in each group, you can use a visual model similar to the one that we worked in the first problem. In this special kind of a model called an array, the number of rows represents the number of groups. Since we have five groups, I will make five rows. Once you have your first five counters, you can go in and continue to add counters to each row until you have a total of 20. If I add five more, I have a total of 10. If I add five more, I'll have a total of 15. If I add five more, I'll have a total of 20 counters in all. Let's look at our completed model. There are five groups represented by five rows. To find the number in each group, just count the number of counters. One, two, three, four. Four counters in each group, which means the missing number in the multiplication sentence is four. Five times four equals 20 in all. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply two numbers by using a visual model. You have also learned how to find the missing factor in a multiplication sentence by using an array. Thanks for watching.